step-by-step -step guide to solving clothing clipping issues on a metahuman without cutting the character. To begin, we need to create a two-color mask. I will use the simplest method based on the alpha channel. First, I import the character model or body parts into Substance Painter. Now, we need to bake all the maps to make working with textures more convenient, although we won't actually need them later. Next, we switch to the Material Render mode, where we can display Opacity, Alpha Channel. Now, all we need to do is manually paint transparency by selecting the necessary faces. Afterward, we will need to invert the colors in GIMP with a single click. However, you can also paint the mask in reverse from the start. Personally, I find it easier to paint directly on the body and then invert the colors so that black becomes white and white becomes black. If you don't want to invert the colors, you should hide everything except the torso while working on the torso mask. For me, inverting the colors later is simply more convenient. Exporting the opacity mask. Once we have painted our mask, we need to create a custom export preset for the opacity map, as we don't need all the other textures. Now, let's open the MetaHuman body material and examine it we can see that it already has built-in functionality for hiding body parts, as well as an existing mask, which we can also use. Let's add our mask and see the result. At this point, you might notice that our mask is not inverted. So, let's quickly fix this in GIMP. Now our mask has the correct colors and everything works as expected.
Let's move on to the material. Here, we need to make a few adjustments so that we can change this mask in the instance material and immediately see the results. This method works, and we don't need to cut the character into separate parts, which can be useful in certain situations. For example, torn clothing where the body underneath is visible, or clothing with holes that still requires the body model to be present. In the next video, Enhancing the material with a custom node for combining multiple masks. The next step is to improve the material by using a custom node to combine multiple masks into one. If we have full character customization, we will need to blend multiple masks. This approach is much more efficient than creating a separate mask for every clothing variation. Let's create a custom node and call it Blend Mask. Example code, HLSL return max, max one, max, max two, max three. How it works. The function takes multiple opacity masks as input. It uses the max function to compare the values of different masks. The max function ensures that the most opaque, highest value pixel is used for each pixel position. This means that if any mask makes a part of the character visible, 
it will remain visible even if another mask tries to hide it. Once you have finished implementing the custom node, you can test it in the material instance to see how it works. Dynamic mask switching for clothing customization. Now let's talk about dynamic texture swathing. To achieve real-time clothing changes, we can create a dynamic material instance, assign it as a parameter, and update the textures based on the selected clothing. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and see you next time.